we are on a Father's Day. It's like hot as hell today. It was like, I don't know, like 90 degrees or something. It's like a not a comfortable day at all. Anyway, I got some uh, honing done and uh, I, I, I felt like it's been a while. I want to do a quick video. Well, relatively quick and um, talk about a couple of things. I got this nice Karasu out here, right? It's nice. And a little spot and you can see like the Karasu lines running all the way through no kawa and a little bit of a messed up corner over here so i got this like shelf and i was gonna lap that off but eh, screw it decided to leave it anyway i just had this out because i was going to do a little bit of honing I'm gonna like you know dial this up um got uh i don't know three four maybe five but probably more like three or four shaves on this um i put it in my uh to-do cup because you know the edge on this just doesn't stick around not the way i want it to um so i figured i'd do some honey tonight but before that right i want to talk about a couple other things going on um you all probably have seen me honing on these rubber blocks like a million times um if you look closely though they're not all the same this is like the original one all right um <clears throat> got this uh from an online seller and uh it's a nice block of the duro it's really hard all right and you can get some slip on the stone because the rubber is really hard um but nice clean edges uh you cut this really nice and uh good width you know and i i use this for years but now i i don't use this so much anymore all right i have it out just to show you a couple of things all right so um this is a later one. Now you notice uh, mine's like a little, uh, the later one's a little thinner. But this rubber is softer, all right? And it tends to grip the stone better. Where this, I, I, I get some slip. With, with this, <laughs> look, <laughs> right? Um, I get nothing. It stays put. I like it. Um, would like it to be thicker so i did i got some thicker rubber just like this but it wasn't exactly the same actually R rubber is weird it's like all types of composition of rubber and i don't want to use chinese rubber uh, the stuff I, I don't know where this came from like i said this is old uh this stuff is made in the usa uh it's like a natural rubber i think I, maybe not a natural rubber but um it, it feels rubbery not plasticky you know anyway so i have these in my etsy store these are great uh very reliable long service i got years on this one is new but you know the ones i've been using in the videos and stuff i have like i don't know 12 of them um that i use for uh, different stones and so on and so forth like basically each of my synths i i have my own pad um i'll, I'll take a shot i'll show you my uh, stone box and i'll drop it in here Anyway, so I had these. They're great. I use them. They're wonderful, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted something like a little bit more. And I don't know if you remember, a couple of videos ago, um, I had this guy out, right? Um, and I was making fun of it because it just, it's so industrial looking. It's just, I don't know, it looks kind of like a, I don't know, a tread off of a weird tank or something. Anyway, um, I had been using it before you saw it in the video. And I've been using it since, and this is all I use now. <laughs> uh, you know, these are great, hands down, you know, uh, very simple, clean off easy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this, it's thicker. These grooves, they look like, I don't know, a mistake. They're not a mistake. I, I actually fitted this together. I, I tried a couple of different ways. I got these blocks here, um, the grooves in here. <clears throat> what happens swath runs off it runs into here it channels out it, it doesn't try to creep between the stone and the rubber um, it's still it doesn't move right it, it's still just as solid as it is when working on the plain rubber and um, when I put it in the sink it conforms nicely to the curve in the sink i mean maybe yours is flat but mine has a curve to it so just rides in there nice and easy and then the stone well, uh, you can see, but what happens is, is 
I mean, I'm gonna do it like this. The stone sits here and here and is held fine, and there might be a little gap in the middle, but that's fine. You know, so I'm lapping, whatever. So that's good. Um, if I want to do this, I can go like that. I enhance the width. This is now about four inches, right? Yeah, this one's just about four inches. The length is eight and three quarters. <clears throat> so um, I was showing it to my girlfriend and <laughs> we're talking about it and I've decided to call it a gator pad. And I don't know why. Uh, for some reason or another, the profile kind of reminds me of some sort of stylized alligator tail thing. I, I don't know. It, it's insane. I, it has does not look like an alligator. Um, maybe it's because, like, an alligator's grip is so intense that, you know, the hold on the stuff. I don't know. I just want to call it a gator pad. Right, so that's that. So anyway, I'm going to make a couple. I'm sure not too many people are going to want them because um, they're weird looking. And I did not make the here i'll show you the here's the one that's going up on etsy a little cleaner looking um but you know i'm not trying to make it pretty i'm trying to make it functional um i wanted to be the glue okay um uh, the fact that it's not perfectly square and even well you know me i do everything by eye and then i just glue it and shove it together and as long as it works then I, like i'm good M making all the angles perfectly square is totally possible it'll take me like a lot longer and it won't give me any more functionality. So, you know, that's the, um, this was the prototype. <laughs> and this is the production uh, gator pet. And, um, yeah, they work great. I made two. That, that's the standard one. And now we have that. This doesn't even fit on screen. I'll put it over here. This is the, uh, what, Gator Pad Plus? I don't know, man. Um, this is, like, if you have arcs like I do, I have a 10 by 3. This is 12 by 4. So your arc is going to sit, right, with space, an inch on either end. So you have that overhang, three inches, half an inch on either side. You have nice room, all right? <clears throat> the rubber, same rubber, it's going to grip. If you wanted to, you could do that, all right? And, um... You know, for people with big stones, <laughs> um, th this is a great pad. You know, um, yes, you could just go with the plain rubber pad, and it'll work just as just as well for the most part. And it won't be as high, but it'll do the same job, and it'll cost less. These will be notably more expensive than the plain rubber pad. Sorry, folks, but labor and materials are what they are. One thing that's nice about this one is, um, like, if, if you want to use your smaller stone on it you can whereas with the other pad you can't put the biggest stone on top of it without excessive overhang will it work yeah it'll probably work but we all like to have things like fitted you know anyway all right so this is the uh, gator pad grande for the people with uh, large whetstones that want to have this type of functionality um very very good very good i use it with my arc and it's phenomenal actually and what else is new well um couple of things. All right, you got some leather, right? More leather, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been making these midnight drops for a while. I've called them a bunch of things. I call them onyx. I call them I call all sorts of stuff. Um, this one's mine. I have uh, two straps now. Um, I have, I'm just going to bend this up. I have a horse hide with uh, this end on. That wasn't popular, but I happen to love it. Anyway, um, and then this. This is my uh, second. <clears throat> this is actual leather. You can see it's got a nap. This, this is real leather. Okay, it's been surfaced. Okay, it basically polished down so it's very smooth. What I like about this stuff, all right, it comes out of the gate flexible. Okay, this stuff, the horse hide, my favorite. Okay, fast to draw, amazing edges, um, just, you know, my favorite substance uh, to strap on, but it's thick. I mean, it's, I mean, you know, this is stuff. So breaking this in takes a lot of work. This takes no work. It is basically broken in when you get it. Um, you can, I got into a thing on Etsy, some guy like, 
I used to say you could roll them up. I, I took it out. He wanted to stop. You could roll up. The reason I don't say you can roll this up is, see this in here? It, it, it's not really good. All right, you can do it. You can get away with it. It'll work. But I'm not saying you should do that because you can mark it up and you can like sort of kink the leather and uh, it's not really good. You, you, could, you would be better off actually just throwing this in your luggage, I think, and just pack like with pants over it or something like that. I have a modified barber's end built right in. The loop for the um, hasp up on top is built right in. So it's basically it's one piece, so it's all pretty slick. I love strapping on this stuff, and this is like my fourth one. I keep giving them away to people because they want to know about it. So, you know, I had to give some out to test. Nelson got one. He loved it. In fact, I think I think I need to get him a piece of this. Like he, there was an accident with a door and a strap. I don't know. I have to check up on that. Anyway, um, if someone is like not into this end, all you got to do is drop a shoelace through there. Make a little loop, you know, for travel stop. I, I, I just like grabbing these things like that. But everybody's different. Anyway, this is amazing stuff, all right? 100% leather, you know, made here, USA product. And um, very high quality. Thin, flexible, makes a great edge. Now, so here's, uh, I, I, I don't know what, where I cut this off of. Cut this off of something. Um, this is a piece of uh, horse hide. I put that over there and here's a errant strip of this stuff so I just want to demonstrate something let me uh, cut that out there all right so you know what's special well let me put down some paper towel put that over there here you have uh, the midnight leather, right? Say you're in the bathroom and you had an accident. I don't know. You, you Somehow or another, you managed to take your strop into the shower. Nothing. If you have this... And you do the same thing. Now, nothing really terrible happens to it, but you all know there's a nap on this, and I, I basically just killed the nap. Okay, it, it's going to mat down when it dries. The fibers, everything's going to pull in tight, so the nap that was there is going to be markedly less. And uh, you can see I'm brushing it here, and it's. Yeah, okay. I could not strap on this, but I could strap on this. No problem. A mm, little bit of a problem. All right. You know, so uh, there's that. All right. So uh, one more thing. I want to show you. All right. That was actually harder to do than it looked. All right. Have this guy out and this guy out. And get rid of that. This is mineral oil. This is my uh, precision applicator. Let's say you're in the bathroom and you get soap, shampoo. I got um, some uh, Barrister and Man Lavanil on my 5K. It took me months to get it out. It got into the stone. It went down like really far. It spread out. It made this awful look. I kept getting suds. It was throwing off my honing. I almost threw the stone out. Okay. But I lapped the snot out of it and I cleared most of it. And then my issues with uh, a lack of consistency went away and I was able to work with it. So there was that. So anyway, you're in the bathroom, you got soap or something with essential oils or whatever gets on your strap. Oh my God, oh my God, I have a mess, right? What am I gonna do? Yeah. 
you see? Nothing. No effect. Did not affect the surface at all. The surface is highly polished. Grain structure is now all smoothed over. It's not going to take the liquids in. It's going to let it sit on top and it beads up. This is a tremendous asset for a strop that lives in the bathroom or goes on the road. Hell, it's an awesome asset for a strop that sits at the workbench like mine do. All right. Now, horse hide. What do you think is going to happen here? Do you think that's coming out? No, it's not coming out. This is ooh, this is toast. This is 100% perfect. All right. So there's just a couple of things about this leather that uh, you know are great. Hands down, this is my favorite strop to work with. Okay, it's the one I grab most of the time. But like if I'm in the middle of honing, you know that's why this is here. I'm in the middle of honing, or I'm testing, or I'm a whatever. I'll grab that, ba 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 You know, uh, maybe I'll use that after shaving. You know, um, I took it away with me on a couple of trips. Great companion. Good stuff, high quality leather, thin, flexible, very durable. Not totally impervious to uh, <clears throat> getting, you know, stuff spilled on it, but does pretty well. Anyway, so that's about it. For right now, I'm going to get to honing, and I'm not going to bore you with showing you making a, what do you call it, some slurry, because, I mean, you see me do that a million times. Just kidding. I may do a, a video on this stone. I'm still doping it out, and um, I have a good handle on it. But I want to keep working with it with a couple of different blades. You know, I got Solingen's and, and, and uh, you know, Greaves and Sheffields and I, I got an Iwasaki around here. There's all kinds of stuff laying around. I, I like to test the stones with all different types of blades so I can get a good feel on it. That way when I put it in the store, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not making up stuff and I'm not talking out my ass. Oh, speaking of talking out one's ass, I hear that that guy who was selling high ticket stones on eBay finally got caught with his pants down. Yeah, it's true. Um, I'm not going to drop the guy's name. If you're if you're in this thing, you, you know who I'm talking about already. But uh, he had all these stones on eBay, and I've been like sort of busting on him. I mention stuff all the time. People get cranky when I say, oh, there's this guy selling bullshit. Well, you know what? He just got caught buying stones on Yahoo Auctions and then stamping them up with uh, Hadahoshi and Maruka and whatever else, and then selling them for Bitcoin. I feel really bad for all the guys that bought all of his stuff because now your stones have been proven to be worthless and you probably spent some coin on them. You know, and the fact that, like, you think they're a good stone, yeah, that's fine, but you probably would have paid half that, and I bet you when they go to sell, they're not going to be sold at that price. They're gonna People are going to try and get their, uh, their money back, uh, which is unfortunate, you know. It, uh, I saw it on Reddit, and I looked into it, and then all of the rumors, it turned out to be true. Talked to a couple of guys from Badger and Blade and what have you, and they all basically concurred. Like, you know, the guy showed up. I, I saw the stones a long time ago. Someone sent me a link. I saw I had a hot Hoshi in, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, Tupperware or something with some uh, letter uh, talking about the Maruka stamp and uh, all this other shit. And, uh, it, like, it could not have been more fake. And I tell people... That's fake. And they're like, oh, no, 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 this guy's this guy's good. He's got friends in the business. We're getting deep discounts because of his connections. No, what you got, <coughs> yard sale stones with somebody's private stamp on it. <laughs> that is a counterfeit stamp, actually. I, I feel bad, you know, but, uh, you know, pays to listen to, you know, people that know what they're talking about sometimes. Anyway, not saying I told you so, but I told you so. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to put the penguins back here as we close out this video. Remember, honing, it's all about having fun. Make sure you get your uh, stones out, sew them along, get, put some nice edges on your blades, and get some nice shapes. Anyway, keep having fun. No matter what, make sure you have fun. Take care. Talk to you soon.